This is the RoboDance main screen. I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to create a funny skit for you and your RoboSaving V2. The big red start block represents the start of the script. Right now the script is empty. In the left hand column is the list of command groups. Each group contains a list of RoboSaping V2 commands that are similar in function. I'll click on the tricks command group now. As you can see the Hey Baby command has been added to the script just below the start block. The little pipe connectors show you that the Hey Baby command is connected to the start block. Now I'm going to add a special command block called Wait for Trigger. First I click on the Trigger command group button. The bottom command button is the Wait for Trigger command button and I'm going to click on it now. Our script now contains two command blocks, one for the Hey Baby trick and another for the Wait for Trigger command button. Scripts flow from top to bottom. So far this script would have the RoboSapien V2 do the Hey Baby trick and then wait for me to press the Resume Script button on the Nintendo Wii Remote, which I have mapped to button 2. Now I'm going to add some more tricks and then I'm going to run the script so you can see how it all works. I will add a wait for trigger command after each trick so the robot will only do one trick at a time and then wait for me to press the resume script button on the Nintendo Wii remote. First I overlap the tricks menu and the trigger menu so I can do this quickly. Here goes. I add the spear change trick followed by the wait for trigger button, now the fetch trick, followed by the wait for trigger button, the diode trick, followed by the wait for trigger button. And finally I end the script with the power down command which is in the special command group. This is what our script looks like now. So this script will have the robot do the hey baby trick and then wait for me to press the resume script button on the Nintendo Wii remote. Then it will do the spare change trick and wait for me, followed by the fetch trick and wait, then the diode trick and wait, and finally it will make the robot power down. With this script and a little acting skill, I'll show you how you can have tons of fun with your robot and amaze your family and friends. Note that the top line of this video is a black line. This is the status bar. As the script is running, make sure you watch it. As the robot does each trick in the script, I'll show the name of the trick in the status bar. I'll also show you when I'm pressing the resume script button on the Nintendo Wii Remote by putting a message there, so you can see how I'm controlling the script. Here we go! Hey, Robbie V2! Hey, baby! I'm not your baby, Metal Brain. Go get me a drink! Fair change? I'm not giving you any money, just get me a drink! You know, you'd make a nice toaster. One more crack out of you and I'm powering you down. Powering down. Robbie? Robbie! Hey, that's not fair! Now I'm going to show you a really fun and advanced script. Even though it's advanced, it took me all of five minutes to create. In our next performance, Robbie V2 learns to play with my Tickle Me Elmo TMX doll. Here is the script for the scene. I'm not going to take you through it step by step. It's mostly a series of body movements designed to make your RoboSaving V2 look like it's really thinking and interacting with you. But I want to highlight one very cool feature. The ability to switch smoothly between running a script and direct control of the robot and back again. Why is this important? In a lot of your scripts, to make them really fun, you are going to want to have your robot touch or throw something, or perhaps pick something up. These kinds of movements are a lot more fun and realistic when you directly control the robot. I'll be using the Nintendo Wii Remote for direct control in this demo, but you could use the robot's factory remote control instead. I've highlighted the part of the script where I put a wait for trigger command. This is where I will take direct control of Robbie V2 in the middle of the script. I will have him do a low pickup maneuver using the one button on the Nintendo Wii Remote. This will make him tickle Elmo. After he starts Elmo laughing, I will resume the script and he will do the danger trick 
followed by the calm down trick, and finally the laugh trick. Understood. Robbie, this is Elmo. He likes to be tickled. Go ahead, give him a little tickle. You don't roar at Elmo, you tickle him. Now, tickle him. Understood. Stop He's not stopping, Robbie. There's no danger. Calm down, Robbie. Calm down and no one will get hurt. Don't threaten Elmo. He's just laughing. <laughs> See, Elmo makes everyone laugh. This script showed you how you can switch back and forth between running a script and taking direct control of the robot. Here's a quick demo of the RoboDance voice control system. This is Mr. Happy, my Robo Reptile robot. His name is Mr. Happy because he is very happy to bite you. RoboDance has a voice control system that lets you control Wowie robots using the power of speech. And you can also make your own voice commands that will activate scripts that you have created. I will use Mr. Happy to give you a quick demo of the voice control system. Here goes. Head right. Head left. Up on back legs. Down on all fours. Fetch me a drink. Uh, calm down, Mr. Happy. <laughs> Mr. Happy, I was just kidding. <laughs> You can also share scripts you have made with others. From RoboDance you can browse scripts online and instantly download and try them out yourself. And that concludes this video.